I can't tell if it's blurry or if it's my glasses fogging up because I am so hot. Hmm. Guess we'll find out when I edit it. It's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and happy Tuesday to you um, from me officially don't know what time it is um, where you are my lunch is beeping in the microwave I just came home for a few minutes to eat lunch and I thought that it's a perfect time to start the intro to this video we're two days into the week I had we're and we're two weeks into the month of June and I have read a total of zero books. I am in what they call a reading slump. I think I have officially come to terms with it. I was in denial for a good couple weeks. Um, I was on a roll in May. I read, I started out the month strong for the Southern Charm Readathon. I read the buy-in and the bluff in a day and a half. I read a holly jilly christmas and then i read premonition of at withers farm loved it and then i picked up another book boom done gone slump hit and i've been in denial since then saying oh no i'm not in a slum i just like nothing's really grabbing my attention tell me why that isn't the definition of a slump don't want to read at all my camera's about to die, so I'm just going to jump into it. I decided I'm going to force myself out of it. And recently, what's been doing that for me is rom-coms. So, come along this with this week with me as I just read rom-coms. So, let me go over my TBR for the week. One of them is the biggest priority, and I will be reading this. And that is The Pocket Pair by Emma St. Clair. This is book three in the Graham Brothers Sheet Cake series. This is book three after the buy-in and the bluff. Loved those. Also, this book is much thinner than I was expecting, so excited about that. This is about Chevy and Val, and I'm so excited. And then I would love to read Ripped and Shipped by Savannah Scott. This is book seven in the Getting Shipped series. The last and final book I have been holding off because I'm so sad it's bittersweet to see it go but the first book in her new series comes out next month and I am so pumped for that so I want to finish off the shipped series so that I am ready for the next series and then if I get through those two which again because I'm in a slump don't know if I'm going to or not but I love both of these women with my whole heart and I love their writing and I love these series so I'm sure once I start them I'll fly through them. So I have a arc to read um, on my Kindle and I'm just going to show you on my phone but it is called, let's see, I don't know if I'll be able to show you. No? Okay, we're just going to put a picture. It's called The Do's and Don'ts of Dating a Doppelganger by Carrie Monet. New to me author. I'm so hot, my glasses are fogging, and I'm trying to talk fast, so my camera doesn't die. Um, new to me author, so I'm excited to try out this book if I have time this week. But those are the three books that are for sure on my TBR this week, and hopefully they will help me get out of my reading slump. So, come along with me this week as I force myself out of a reading slump. Okay, I'm going to go eat lunch and cool down, because I deep clean the office today, and it's cool outside, but... It's a little warm, so I I'm going to go. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, um, it is 10.30 on Tuesday night. Zero words were read today. Um, I worked late, and then when I came home, I ate dinner and then worked again for a little while longer to finish up some things for work. Um, and then took a shower. And now I am getting ready to go to bed because I have an early shift tomorrow. But Wednesdays are my short days, so I will be able to read some before church tomorrow evening. So that is when I will be starting the pocket pair. But just wanted to give an update. Come on, we're going to get out of this reading slip. We are going to. Oh, but work had to be done so work is done now I'm going to bed 
I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, remember that funny joke I told you um, about forcing myself out of a reading slump? We can all laugh, right? Because <laughs> eh. it's Thursday. Um, 9-12. 9-13. My cutie little cousin. Aren't they adorable? Love these people. Um. Anywho. Thursday. Books. Have not been read. I have been super busy at work. Mondays. Tuesdays. And Thursdays are my late days. And then. Wednesday I had good intentions and then was just really exhausted and took a three and a half hour nap on my couch um so yeah but I'm off on Fridays and I work a few hours on Saturday so a lot of my reading typically gets done on Thursday nights Friday nights and Saturday and some Saturdays like I'm a weekend reader anyways just because my week at work is just too crazy for me to try to read <laughs> at night um so but I just have had no motivation and no desire to pick up a book but that's the point of this video to force myself out of a slump so the pocket pair is my priority like I do want to read this but ripped and shipped So, because I can't decide, mm, let's see, because well, the thing is once I'm in them, I'll fly through them. I know I will. So, the pocket pair is going to be tails, ripped and shipped is going to be heads. Hey Siri, flip a coin. Heads. All right ripped and shipped it is so I'll be very popular all of a sudden um I will be jumping into ripped and shipped which is Chris and Ella May's story <laughs> I'm so excited so I will be reading this and then when I'm done with that I will pick up the pocket pair maybe oh I don't know 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 this is the problem with slumps because while I want to read and I'm ex excited to read I also can't make up my mind and I don't really want to but sirens I hear them Let's do it. Well, let's, guys, ugh, I'm over, I'm over a slump and I'm just, I'm over having one. I'm over being in one and the way to get over it, over it is to actually just read. And I know this. Okay. Ripped and shipped. We're going with it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Force myself out of a reading slump.
let's chat shall we I am 69 pages in chapter 10 and as I predicted I am loving the story <laughs> um LMA is just I she's been a character in the books from the beginning of the series kind of a side character she's supposed to be a little unlikable at the beginning but I never had an issue with her um she just she's like a an influencer in this tiny little town so she's underestimated and no one really understands her because it's this tiny town in Ohio and most people don't even have social media let alone know what an influencer is and they just all judge her constantly because she's super exuberant she's eccentric she's crazy she's just like that typical influencer you know and I've never cared for the way that the core group of people have like talked about her um but it's always been like in the background or like in the side and kind of setting up for you know like LMA I don't know if I don't think she was really ever supposed to get her own story but Savannah's readers fell in love with her so like she decided to write her her own happily ever after and whatnot um but I can honestly say the most frustrating part of this book to me right now is the fact that the core group of girls from friendship to battleship township and doctor shipped and censorship um like they just are really clickish uh, and I love love the girls I love their friendship and I'm sure it'll change as the book goes on especially because she like hello Chris um, and he's one of the core guys um, I'm sure it'll change but right now it's just kind of heartbreaking because they still see her as like just this persona that she puts on and they've never taken the time to really get to know her as a person and they're just very judgmental and just very mean about and not like mean mean but like mean you know <laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense. The people who've read the book probably know what I'm talking about. But she just has way more depth than anybody was previously aware. Even readers. Like, that's one of the points is that, you know, like, LMA's getting her story and we're finally, like, learning who she is. So I'm really enjoying it so far. I haven't quite gotten to, like, they haven't been on page a whole lot together yet. But the times that they have, it's definitely going to be like a hate to love. I know there's a fake dating trope in here. Grumpy sunshine, opposites attract kind of thing. Um, I'm really looking forward to really getting into the meat and potatoes of the story. But so far, I'm definitely liking it. I knew I would love it. So far, I am. I'm flying through it. It's so much fun. And I just find LMA's character to be really relatable. Um, so I'm having a lot of fun with it. So, okay, I'm going to get back to reading. But Chapter 11. Is that? <sighs> okay. Chris and Ella Bay, it's going to be so good. <sighs> oh, this is why I read, people. This, this is why I read. And Savannah's got. She's a good one, and I'm telling you, what? read it. Read the series so you can get to this book. And I highly recommend the other books can be read out of order, um, but I feel like you should read the other six before you read Ripped and Chipped. And I know six sounds like a lot, but they're worth it. They're fast. They're amazing. And I will talk about these books for forever. And I will talk about Savannah for forever because I love her and she's amazing. And they're little truths, y'all. They're little truths. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep going. Bye.
little recap time. I am now 135 pages in. Well, hello. 135 pages in, eating it up. Beautiful. Um, but one thing that I am doing, I have the Kindle version of the book as well. Because um, sometimes I've become this person who likes to flip between paperback and Kindle. Right now I'm soaking up the paperback so I don't need it on my Kindle. But what I'm doing is highlighting, I don't know if I'm, I'm highlighting like um, passages and stuff or just funny moments because I don't annotate and I don't write in my physical books. But I have been loving having an e-copy so that I can highlight some of my favorite moments because Recently, like, all of a sudden, the books that I have been reading and loving have had some of the cutest, uh, most adorable moments, and I have just been highlighting the fire out of my Kindle version, because <laughs> this book is hilarious. I have laughed out loud so many times, and I'm, like, only a quarter of the way into it. Like, I still have so much, and just... The family aspect, the fa like the found family and the friends and just the small town homey feeling of these books. So good. So, yeah. I'm going to keep reading. I'm so thankful that I don't work tomorrow because I will 100% be staying up all night to finish this book. It's so good. Wow, this is seriously the most attractive angle of me. Um, 184 pages in, and y'all, mm, another tick to this thing that is just making it better. He falls first, and he is falling hard, and he is in denial, and there are nicknames. And what I love is that she has nicknames for him. Typically, the guy has nicknames for girls, which I'm all about. Love a good nickname. But... She's got a nickname for him. Okay. Okay. I love this book. This vlog, you're not going to see much of me reading. You're just going to hear me ranting. So, you're welcome. Where's the pause button? gave her a nickname. I'm officially, I mean, I was already here, but so gone for this book and these people. <sighs> it is almost four. It is 3.48. But I finished this number. Mm. It was so good. I'm exhausted, <laughs> but it was so worth it. <sighs> Beautiful. I can say that I have my retainer in, so I'll have a lisp. I apologize. Um. I enjoyed that she wrapped it up, um, the way that she did. And I loved Chris and Ella May as characters, as couples. I just wish that there had been a little more reconciliation between her and the main girl group. That's just, wish that's just wishful thinking. Because <laughs> really, at the end of the day, one thing about 
Savannah is that she is so amazing at staying true to the characters and like each one the storylines don't change the characters don't change they grow but they don't change in their like what makes them tick if that makes sense um so while the like friend person in me wishes that they would just hit it off it wouldn't have made sense to Ella May's character and the arc she had through the whole series. So, I understand the book is a 5,000 out of 5 stars. I loved it so much. Um, oh, it was so good. It was seriously. And it just... It was good and I don't know what I can say without giving other things away and I don't want to spoil it because I really really think that so many people should read this series because it's so cute and it's 100% clean there is chemistry and kissing and just all those things that you want in a romance but it's clean Savannah's amazing and just flew through this it's so good so worth it loved it um did it get me out of a reading slump that i'm not sure of yet um but i'm gonna go to bed because <laughs> it is 4 a.m and i am tired but My goal is to start this tomorrow, so we shall see. We'll see if I'm out of my slump, but I was so engrossed in this book in a way that I haven't been in a while, and though it was hard for me to pick up at the beginning, because the thought of being in a book and like having to do the work was a little overwhelming, and I'm probably crazy, but people who read a lot probably know what I'm talking about. I want to read, I want to know what's happening in the story, but I also want to be done with it. So, yeah, that was, that's how I'm feeling. But, once I started Ripped and Shipped, I couldn't put it down. So, I'm, I have a feeling the same thing will happen with the Pocket Bear. Um, and then it's just really going to be making sure that I'm reading books that I'm in the mood to read. And I can tell looking at my viewfinder that I need to go to bed. So I'm going to do that. But I finished Ripped and Shipped. It was delicious. It was yummy. It was being stinking tastic. I loved it. I'm going out of focus. There we are. Um, so yeah. Totally worth it. I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Almost afternoon. It is 11.15 on Friday. I've been up since about, pardon me. Um, I've been up since about 9.45, which is still late. I definitely slept in, but when you stay up until 4 a.m., you have to get sleep somewhere. <laughs> so um, I am up, I'm about to make myself breakfast um and i'm having what i had yesterday for breakfast and i thought i would tell you about it not that you care but i'm going to tell you anyways so it was a thomas english muffin because they are hands down the best and then a while back i got these from aldi because if you haven't been to an aldi before you are seriously missing out and if there isn't one in your area i am so 
post sorry but they're the best place but I got these little turkey sausage and spinach omelet breakfast bites yesterday what I did is I toasted an English muffin and then put butter and I took a piece of cheese and like broke it in half and put it on either side and then these there's four to a pack but two to a little container so I warm those up in the microwave and then put them on top of the English muffin and oh, I have been so excited to eat it for breakfast today since I had it yesterday um, I hope that my Aldi has them so I can get some more because it was so good but I do need to go um, to Aldi at some point this weekend and get some some more if they have them um but yeah that is my breakfast so I thought while I'm getting it prepared we chat about my day coming up okay so English muffins are in the toaster eggs are in the microwave sorry if it's getting loud um but my original plan for today is because I was off work I still do um, some work at the church uh, when I can get there in the office and such. But my original plan for today was to go down there and work at the church for a little bit and then read. Um, but I'm tired. And I it's really gloomy here today. Like it looks really gross outside and I just really don't want to have to get dressed. Uh, I like being in my pajamas, I'm not going to lie. Um, so I think my plan is, because I do work tomorrow, that I am just going to hit the road when I get off work and go straight to the church and work there. So today is now officially just going to be a super chill, chill day. Um, and we'll kind of see where it takes us. I do kind of want to watch a movie or oh that was the coolest car ever sorry wow I got so distracted that was so cool it was bright pink LMA would have loved that car so would Duke honestly um wow Anywho, my, my getting shipped people would understand what I was talking about. Anywho, um, I might watch an episode of Leverage. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen that show. It is probably one of my favorites. I have seen the whole thing, I think, twice. Um, love it so much. It's one of my mom and my favorite shows. So good. Um, and I was able to find the first four seasons. I say that like there's more than five. And I was able to find four out of the five in DVD at Goodwill in perfect condition. So I've been slowly like watching those. So I might turn on an episode of Leverage while I eat and then just kind of chill for the day. So that's what's going to happen. Come along with me and let's just enjoy the day. I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but y'all, when I tell you this, so good. So good. Also, I meant to show you this in the earlier clip. I got one of these mugs. They did like a limited run of these. So it has all the couples from the Getting Shipped series. Minus um, Felicia and Crumbs, I don't, Grant? No, that's not his name. Mm, I forget his name. But Felicia is Lexi's sister and there's a novella called Courtship. And it doesn't really happen in Bordox, so. But yeah, so, love it. All the bookish merch. But I'm gonna go eat breakfast now. Okay, bye.
Alrighty, it is about 3.30 at 3.15. 3.15 and <laughs> I decided to bring the peppers outside. It's a gorgeous day. I finally got dressed. So, yay me. My mom and I, I had breakfast and watched some leverage and then my mom came out and we had lunch and watched some leverage, but I figured it's time to get up and do something with my day. So read outside it is. Got the big guy with me. And yeah, I'm just gonna hang outside and read for a bit. Got the pocket pair. I'm so excited, so. All right, let's just jump into it. Arlo, you still had the camera? Look at you! That's you right there! That's you! <laughs> I love you. Can I lay on the other side with you? Can I put you on my phone? That doesn't really do much, does it? The real reason I try not to read outside very often is bugs. Bugs everywhere. But I'll do it anyways because it's nice out. I just got to chapter five on the pocket pair. Loving it as I thought I would. Um, sparks flying. Fireworks crackling. And chemistry is just, it's there. And then on top of it, <laughs> if you've read chapter four, if you've read this book and you've read chapter four, I just, ah, I love bromances so much. And no one does it like good old Emma St. Clair and just, ah. Chevy and James and Pat and Colin and their little thing. It's just so funny and I love it so much. And chapter four was hilarious. Love it. And I, I have a Kindle copy of this as well. So of course I'm doing the same thing that I was doing with Ripped and Shipped. I'm going into my art copy that I have on my Kindle and highlighting anything um, for the like that's happening in this book. If I find it funny, and you know, I have to remember it because ah, so good. So I'm gonna keep reading because I'm loving it. So, but I just had to hop on here and say, so I will have, oh, hello. Um, I will have like, video proof that if I ever forget to just check out chapter four again because the brother. I love, I love the get-togethers. Love it. And that was something that was a big deal in like Savannah Scott's book, the Getting Shipped series. The guys got together and the girls got together and it's kind of similar in this, another small town. Um, just, I just love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I eat it up, so. I'm gonna keep eating this up. Okay, bye. <laughs> I forgot to bring a bookmark with me out here. I guess that just means I can't stop reading. Uh -oh. All right, y'all, I wanted to pop in and do a quick update real fast. It is almost six, and I am 18 chapters into the pocket pair. I feel like probably a little over halfway. Um, it's so good. It's another slow burn. Ripped and Shipped was a, a bit of a slow burn too. Um, attraction? Yes. But slow burn. It is a best friend's brother. 
but the girls are best friends so that's fun um yeah and they both have feelings but they're like not talking about them but like they're there and she had to um move in with him so she's a roommate separate bed separate rooms all the things um but it's just all the little angsty moments are killing me but I love it but I am about to change real quick we're about to go out to dinner so I'm gonna do that take a break I might take my book with me and read in the car but I haven't decided yet um so yeah just wanted to pop in and do an update loving the book I will for sure be finishing it tonight um and then we'll see we'll see where where the evening takes us so all right that's it I love it if you haven't get the series because again Brooks and Brooks whoa wrong series Colin and Pat and James make an appearance and so good so okay I'm gonna change I'll see you guys in bed bye If you need me, I will just be a puddle. Right here on my couch. I just read chapter 23. <laughs> Y'all, the slow burn in this book. The angst. It's killing me, but in the best possible way. <gasps> but chapter 23. A puddle. I love Emma. She's so great. And Val and Sheppy in this book. I need you people. I need you people to get on it and read Savannah Scott's books. And Emma's books. And all the books. Read them. Please. And squeal with me because chapter 23. A puddle. Just right here. Right here on my perfectly green plush couch. Do you see the hard eyes? Do you see them? Because they're here, radiating out of my eyeballs. I can feel it. Hi friends. It is a little before midnight. And I... <clears throat> I apologize for the lighting. It's very dark. <laughs> um, but I did finish the pocket pair probably about 25 minutes ago. Um, but I was working on writing my review um, and then chatting with some friends online about it because that is what you do. Um, but I finished it and I really, really, really enjoyed it. I, of course, Emma hits it out of the park every time she writes a book. I don't think out of all the books I've read by her so far, I still have some to read. But every story I've read of her so far has not missed. She's amazing. She writes so much more than just romances and so much more than just rom-coms. Though they are heavy on the rom and heavy on the com. Um, but people are just, like, they're re real. Like, they feel like people that you would know. This feels like a town that would exist somewhere in the South or even in the Midwest. Um, and the kooky, just crazy characters and the pain and the brokenness and the fear of relationships and just the fear of being your parents or being like someone you don't want to be just all kinds of things wrapped up into 
a small little book. Um, she handled them beautifully. It was very well done. It made me laugh. It made me giggle. It made me swoon. It was so good. Um, it, but very heartfelt and just the found family in this, the bromance and the sisterhood and just the relationships that are in this book and the angst. I know I've probably said that every time I've turned the camera talking about this book. This was slow burn to the max. And y'all know, you know, know how I feel about slow burns. <laughs> Sometimes they're rough for me. But this one was done really well. And again, it made sense to the characters. It made sense to who they were in the other two books. Um, so I got behind the Val and Chevy the Cheval um, slow burn, 100%. Um, one thing I will say, I felt like the ending was a little rushed because of how slow burn the romance was. Like we spent so much of the book just getting to know these characters, them getting to know each other. Um, we see their internal struggles and chemistry and attraction to each other and their thoughts um so that like when we finally got the romance I, it's hard because I don't want to give anything away um but the ending did feel a little rushed to me it was still beautiful handled perfectly for the story um I think that would just be my like biggest thing and I think that's why it's not a five star read for me I have it at like four and a half on Goodreads um, and that feels really comfortable for me that feels good the story gave me all of those feelings but I think the ending just kind of um, I wish there was a little little bit more but again handled beautifully for the characters things were hit things were wrapped up um, I'm excited to see them in Colin's story because I'm sure we'll get little snippets of them or at least I hope we do um but Colin's story is next and I'm so excited about that one um but yeah I loved it it was so much fun um and I highly 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 suggest the Sheet Cake Graham Brothers series um I suggest any of Emma's books She's fabulous. I also suggest any of Savannah's books. She's also fabulous. So we have had some wonderful books, as in th two. Um, we've had some wonderful reading dates the last two days. Truly. Um, and this, these are the books, like, these authors and these stories and these books are the reason why I keep reading. Like the feeling that these stories gave me and just the fact that I wanted to stay up and I wanted to spend my whole day reading and I didn't want to do anything else. And if I wasn't reading, I was thinking about the characters and I was thinking about music, which um, Emma, props to you. Um, Fun fact, I can't see anything when I read. I just enjoy how a book make, makes me feel. Um, very bizarre. Anyways, anywho. So I feel a lot of emotions that come off the page. So this one, with Val being a very emotional character, felt every single one of those emotions because, same girl. Um, if anybody's known me for longer than a week, they've probably also seen me full on ugly cry. Um, but... I did, like I felt all these things that's why when a book makes me feel giddy it makes it gives me that five star feeling I'm a little like I get five stars all, all the time because of how books make me feel long tangent to essentially say normally I don't associate anything with the story like it's just a good book a good feeling I love the the idea behind it I love the romance but this book y'all I had the song For a Boy by Raylan playing on repeat in my head for this book pretty much the entire time I was reading it. Um, so Emma, chef's kiss to you for making me hear music in my head and like associate a song to the story. It was just master craftsmanship, beautiful writing, great story, truly loved it. 
Um, but yeah, we, I, I'm hoping I'm out of my book slump. Um, I'm gonna try, we'll see what the rest of the weekend holds. I am going to go to bed because I am exhausted and I do have to work tomorrow. Um, and then after I will be going to the church and working there for a bit. And then I don't know if we have anything planned for the rest of Saturday evening. Um, but I'm not going to force myself to read either. That's what I need to come away from this experiment with. Yes, I forced myself to get out of the slump and I'm so happy I did because I obsessed with Ripped and Shipped, loved the pocket pair, um, had an amazing time, binge read both books, but I also don't want to like you know get into the habit of forcing myself to read because when that happens I think that's when slumps happen um, I just need to ride the wave of where I am in my mood right now I guess we're in my rom-com era um, but I have some really fun videos planned that I think are gonna be beneficial to kind of keep me like mood reading but also focused in getting through my review TBR which is a very big goal for me this year um, and something I want to be better about so I have a lot of goals but I'm proud of myself because I was able to do it and knowing that if I do get into a book slump there are authors that I can read Savannah Scott, Emma St. Clair, um, other ones, any literally anybody on that shelf right there glorious and also my book cart um there are there are books that I can read to get me out of the slump so even if I don't read tomorrow or Sunday I think I'm out of my slump guys I think we've done it I'm very excited um and just knowing when I can read I think that Thursday nights are my night and Fridays are my days or just maybe learning some self-control <laughs> um, because as you can see from this video and then my like reading a hundred pages a day video I don't have self-control once I start a book and I'm fully invested I have to stay up and finish it terrible for my sleep schedule and isn't viable or even reasonable with my work schedule during the week um but maybe just like trying to say okay 20 pages a day or five chapters and then put the book down but just to stay reading i think will be really important for me to stay out of slumps um maybe get through more books and then like over the weekends i can binge read if i want to do that um, but it will help in my busy seasons so that I'm not completely letting books slide because if my weekends get busy, I'm not reading at all during the week as you, as you saw in this video. So I think just kind of adjusting how I'm reading and my reading habits will be beneficial. So I'm very thankful that I did this video because I think it helped me realize that. Um, and I'm just excited because I do love reading and I love the stories and the romances and just the the worlds that people can create in their brains fascinating truly um, and I just I love it so much so I'm sure I'll check in with you potentially tomorrow or Sunday um, I have I might try to read the other book on my TBR which was the do's and don'ts of dating a doppelganger by Casey Monet um, or Carrie Monet that one or I might gravitate and grab something off that shelf or my book cart I have a lot of rom-coms here that I've been wanting to read so um, yeah we'll see but even if I don't pick up anything else for the rest of the weekend very proud of myself I did it thanks for coming along with me um, yeah I hope you guys had fun I had fun this is a really long talking video I need to go to bed um, again highly recommend Emma and Savannah I love them both okay good night I'll talk to you later 
Hello friends, happy Saturday. Um, I just got back from working today in the office. I worked for a few hours and then I went to the church and worked at the church for a few hours. So it is around 3, 3.30ish. Um, I am <laughs> rocking my DC Eagles merch. If you know, you know. Um, it is so comfy cozy. It is a little too warm to be in a hoodie today. It was fine for working inside, um, but I don't have air in my car currently, and it's just a touch, touch too warm to be in a hoodie. Absolutely gorgeous day. Truly is. But a hoodie might not have been the best move. So I'm about to change. Just got home. I'm going to change and turn around and jet out. I'm going to go to Aldi and pick up a few things. Mainly I'm going to check to see if they have my little turkey sausage egg bites because those were so good. And then maybe a few other things. I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling it. So I'm going to do that. And then I don't know what's on the agenda for today. I know I will have to go back down to the church at some point with my mom. We're not sure when though. But we do need to clean the church um, before service tomorrow or we might go early. We haven't decided but the church will be cleaned at some point this weekend. We just don't know when. Um, but yeah, got some couple things to do around the house. Gonna pick up my room a little bit. Uh, maybe watch a movie? Hang out? I don't know but I am gonna try to take advantage of the absolutely stunner of a day we have and I'm going to hit the road, go to Aldi. I might come back and grab the dog and take him to get his nails done. I don't know. Not sure yet. But that's what my Saturday kind of looks like. No reading has been done because it's been a very productive, busy Saturday so far. Um, but again, I'm not entirely worried if no reading does get done today. We've had this discussion with a nice little heart to heart last night. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in and say hi. Wait, I know. I got book mail. I got book mail from Bethany House. Trust me. These little yellow packages. Love when they come in the mail. But I had a feeling it was going to be this book. I've been seeing it popping up in people's mailboxes. But I got my copy of Outside. Wait, is it? Maybe not. No. Is that just her? No, it's not. <laughs> Don't mind me. It's just a font thing. Um, but I got my copy of The Love Script by Tony Shiloh. Look at it. So excited. Um, this is book one in her Love in the Spotlight series that she's starting. I, th I think it's a series. But I'm obsessed with this color. straight gorgeousness so I'm really excited about this I have an arc copy on my Kindle um, so I might bounce back and forth but this is on my TBR for soon and I'm really 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 excited I've been anxiously awaiting this and ah I'm just really excited okay so that was some book mail that I got I really gotta go man I'm all over the place I just told my mom so the drink that I got from the Big B Coffee is called Scuba, and it's like an energy caffeinated drink. Not coffee, though. Um, and I told my mom that I was, like, waiting for it to kick in while I was at the church. Like, I was waiting to, like, focus and, like, get stuff done and have energy, and I just didn't have it. I guess I just needed to come home because all of a sudden I have, like, boundless energy. Maybe I needed to be outside for a few minutes. Like, the sun activated the energy or something. I don't know. But I am going to change and then um, head out. And I will talk to you guys in a gif. Hello, friends. I um, wanted to get on here real quick. I did, in fact, go to Aldi. Went for one thing. It's like the target of grocery stores because I left with so much stuff. But I'm really excited about the stuff that I got. It'll save me money in the long run, so works for me um but I wanted to get on here because I got a little bit more mail while I was gone so I got 
Never, Ca Never Court Account by Regina Scott. This is book two in the Fortune Brides The Wedding Vows series. Le read and loved the Fortune Bride series a couple years ago. And then she did a spin-off series called The Wedding Vow. And then she's doing another spin-off series, I'm pretty sure. But this was super on sale and her books are never on sale. So I grabbed this. And then I got some bookends because I need them because I have quite a few books that are just sitting a little funky and I'm just worried it's going to end up messing with them and ruining them. So I finally got some bookends and I'm excited to use them. Um, so I'm probably going to set some up real quick and then I'm not sure if we finish dinner. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with the evening. My camera is about to die though so I'm going to plug it in and then just kind of probably relax for the rest of the evening. It's a little after 7 I think probably honestly going closer to gone, going on 8. Um, but yeah not sure what I'm going to do but it was a pretty productive and chill day. It was nice. Got some stuff done and it was, it was just perfect perfect Saturday. So yeah but just wanted to show you hop on and share with you about the Aldi telling you if you have an Aldi got a shop there it's love it so great okay I really gotta charge my camera talk to you soon bye all right guys I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here it is Sunday evening probably getting close to eight o'clock um and the day is finally done <laughs> I am very tired it's been a very long weekend fun um but very busy I'm tired so I don't have any plans to read for the rest of the evening um if I do I know that I have the do's and don'ts of dating a, doppel a doppelganger but I also just got the arc of are we there yet by Savannah Scott which is book one in her new series that comes out July 15th I want to say um but I just got that arc and I do really want to read that soon so if I pick up anything this evening it would be that um, but I really don't think I'm going to uh, pick up anything else for the rest of the night I am going to watch an episode or two of leverage and then I'm gonna come and pick up my room and then probably hit the hay so things are coming along this week getting out of my reading slump I really think that I am um, I have a really exciting video coming for you guys uh, next week or the week after anyways I have a fun couple videos planned in the next few weeks that I'm excited for so being excited for them will help me get excited about reading and I think that that's going to be super beneficial so thanks for coming along while I forced myself out of my reading slump we read some awesome books this week ripped and shipped pocket pair so good loved them both love both those authors so I'm telling you if I'm ever in a reading slump again I know which authors to go to they're great. Love a good rom-com. So I think that's it. Uh, don't forget you can check out my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com. You can check out my Instagram at fortheloveofchristianfiction. All my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.